In this video, I have a haul to share with you of RT and craft supplies. Um, so I got a bunch of stuff from Hobbycraft in their uh, like January sale, and I got some stuff from Amazon, which is basically stuff that was on my wish list that I really, really wanted and like needed it, or you know, I really wanted it and didn't get it for Christmas, or you know, that kind of thing. So. I will show you the Amazon stuff first because the Hobbycraft stuff is a lot more. So let's start with that. So the first thing I got is this uh, Dalla Rowney Simply Watercolour 36 pans. Um, it was five pound and yeah, it looks like that. It does come with this brush, but this brush looks naff to be honest. <laughs> Quite fussy about paint brushes. But yeah, just a nice selection of watercolours in there. Um, I'm not really a watercolour girl, but um, it is really good for backgrounds and my current pan set is pretty much empty. I've also got watercolour tubes, but I'm not as fond of those. So yeah, I just picked this up. I think a lot of people have this and I've read really good reviews about it. So got that. Then I got this embossing pen. It's a jewel pen. So you've got sort of like a calligraphy type nib there. I don't know if that's gonna be showing very well. Just using a scrap bit of paper that's already written on and a brush nib. Oop, see I've been fi fi figuring out my silhouette there. <laughs> <laughs> a brush nib on that side so because I really want to do um, my own handwriting to emboss my own handwriting more than stamps so yeah got this probably use it very quickly and this was two pound next I got this um, aquash water brush I don't know if I'm saying that right I've heard really really good things about these Let me pull it out here there we go um, I have heard really good things about these as I've said and so I wanted to try it out um, you can get packs of three or four with different um, sort of different brush sizes but as I don't watercolour that much I thought it'd be better just to get the one to try it out and that was three pound. Next I got this pack of paint brushes, um, I better take this cellophane off so you can see it better. But there we go, this pack of paint brushes which was uh, seven pound for the lot. Um, I do actually have a load of paint brushes, but paint brushes are kind of like pens, like you always want more. Um, and there were some within this pack that I really wanted because either mine have died or got lost or whatever. Like the, uh, bring it out, the fan one here, my fan one died because they're so, you know, delicate. And I like this sort of stipple type one. So yes, I just got the whole set because I think it would have, it was just cheaper to get the whole lot rather than buying that one and that one and that one separately. But yes, so there's those. Very exciting, simpleistic. I have Gemma to thank for this. Gemma Rose Crafts, I will link her down below. Um, she had a ho Hobbycraft haul video recently and showed some glue stick and I went, oh flip, I need glue. So thanks for the reminder, Gemma. But yes, Pritt stick as much as my favourite glue. I love it. It's just, you know, it's one of the best. But yes, so the pack of three was £2. Then the last thing was from Amazon was this uh, A3 cutting mat from Ancio, I don't know, just one of those self-healing cutting mats. Um, you may have seen my blue cutting mat in some of my process videos and tutorials and stuff, but um, it's it's starting to give up the ghost. It's so floppy now and it was secondhand to me, it belonged to my mum years ago and I think it may have even been secondhand to her, so yeah. It was getting on a bit so I got a new one and I thought it'd be nice for to have a nice pink background or da, 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 a purple background in um like in process videos and stuff so yes I thought that would be nice to have I really like this purple side pink's all right but the purple is very pretty and that was seven pound fifty so onto the stuff I got from Hobbycraft pretty much everything I got from Hobbycraft was in the sale so yes let's uh, get on with that first I got these two ink pads these are not actually for me they're for my mum I am gonna be buying her custom made stamp um, she sends out a lot of packages for her business and so she wants to stamp to just like stamp her return address on the back rather than writing it out every time I did buy her stickers to do that but she likes the idea of a stamp more so I bought her some inks to do that with then I got two um, very simple little clear stamps. These were either 50p or a pound each, um, plus my student discount as well. Um, getting into embossing, I'm just sort of like trying to bulk up my stamp collection. So yes, I just got these because I thought they were quite pretty and simple images to do some embossing practice with. Then I got three packs of sequins. Um, I don't really craft with these. I just use them mostly for uh, uh, taking photos just to enhance the photo and make it look pretty and stuff so 
I got this pack, which is a Santoro pack, and this was on sale for 70 or 80 pence. And these two were, I think, 50p each. So that one's got loads of gold in, and that one's got the sort of transparent ones in. I don't think iridescent is the right word, but the ones that sort of look a bit purpley when you move them in the light. You know what I mean. Next, I got three things of washi from their washi set. They sell the washi at like a pound each, um, minus my student discount, of course. Um, I am, however, quite annoyed. So I chose two. They What they do is they do lucky dips. So rather than listing every single type of washi, they just pick out a random one. Um, however, I chose to have two from the A Touch of Gold um, selection, which means they would be foiled. And as you can see, these are certainly not foiled and I they're really not my type at all. Um, I'm sorry if you can't see them very well. I don't want to take them out of the cellophane because I'm going to be emailing Hobbycraft about this saying, you know, there's certainly no foiling on these. But yes, um, yeah, Lucky Dip can be risky, but then Lucky Dip from the wrong box. That's just not good enough, quite frankly. This one was a Lucky Dip from the chalkboard like collection, which I can probably tell is probably correct. I'm not over keen on it, it's all right, but it's just not really my style. I might put it in my giveaway box for someone who might like it. I just, it doesn't really excite me, but lucky dip, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Next, I got this paintbrush, which is uh, by Graduate, the Dallarani or Dala, is it Dala or Dallarani? I don't know. Um, the paintbrush, I'm, I'm just looking at my receipt, which is next to me. It was two pound, I think. It is a super, super fine brush. I'm just trying to find something that you can see a background on. So, yeah, I do a lot of fine work when I paint. So I needed a super, super fine one. My current fine one is just not quite this fine. So yeah, pick that up. So another mess up on the part of Hobbycraft is that I ordered two of these paints. I ordered one in blue and one in pink because they were £1.50 in the sale. And the pink one is not there. So oof, annoying. Again, I will email them about that and about the washi thing. But yes, so, but it does look like nice paint and it's a nice big thing and it's, you know, a good make. So I'm sure it will be lovely when I use it and when I get the pink one. I also ordered this. Now, um, I came across this kind of paint um, researching on, on, on internet and um, I've already said that I'm not that keen on watercolours and I prefer acrylics, but acrylics have their faults. They really do. Um, and I have read that this stuff um, is kind of a, in between watercolour and acrylics, so I thought I would try it. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear that car beeping. Shut up! <laughs> anyway, so um, yes, it looks like it's gouache, but apparently it's gouache. But this whole pack was only a couple of quid, so I thought just getting the primary colours and a black and white would be a great like starting point to see how I go with this. And I got five packs of stickers, like 3D thicker type stickers. These were all very cheap, um, between 60 and 80 pence each. Um, so I'm pretty happy with those. These two are, um, they say Christmas stickers. Sparkly doesn't necessarily mean Christmas, so I will use them whenever. And they're like family ones, so these ones are man ones, granddad, son, dad, and these ones are lady ones who are grandma, mum, sister, that kind of thing. I got these ones with the stars on. Again, just because they're sparkly does not mean Christmas, so yay, love stars. And lastly, this uh, pack of thicker letter stickers, so yay, all this stuff that you get dirt cheap just because it says Christmas on the label, but isn't necessarily Christmassy. Yay! Um, this is the main thing that I got um, in my Hobbycraft order. This is a Paper Mania heat tool for, well, you know, for embossing and other drying type performances. <laughs> this is actually something from my mum, a late Christmas present. She really wanted to get me a heat tool, but didn't get around to it. So she said, order one now, even though it's January. And I said, all right then, if you insist. Um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be crude, but does anyone else think if this is a rather phallic looking object? Is it just me? I'm going to be giggling every time I use this because, you know, I'm a schoolgirl. <laughs> there was also a deal on to get um, a pack of 10 white cards and envelopes of 240 GSM card paper, which I thought was really good. And it was the same price to buy 
the heat tool with or without these cards. It was a tenner with or without the cards. So I was like, well, I'll have the cards. Why the heck not for free? So there's everything I got from Hobbycraft and Amazon. Um, despite the like the couple of problems with the Hobbycraft order, um, you know, I'm pretty happy. I will, once I've had contact with Hobbycraft and stuff about a couple of issues, I will sort of like put in the description box what happened to update you in case you're interested. I've had people ask this before if I've had problems. Um, but yeah, other than that, there we go. Um, if I do anything particularly interesting with these things, I will show you. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.